Hey creatives, Seb here. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can upload and post Instagram Reels straight from your computer or Mac. So if you're a video editor like myself, you edit all your Instagram Reels on Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro, you no longer need to send it to your phone to upload it to Instagram. So this is absolutely amazing. It's gonna save you so much more time and you can even schedule posts. So this is really, really awesome. So before we get into the video, if you are new here, welcome, my name's Seb. This channel is all about videography, video editing and photography. I'm about posting high quality short form content. So if that does sound interesting to you then do consider subscribing and liking the video if you haven't already but let's jump right into the video so first things first you need to open up google chrome and then once you've opened it up you need to go to your extensions so click on the settings button right here go to more tools and then go to extensions from here you then want to click on this little button here and then go to open chrome web store all you have to do is type in insist so just like this kind of like assist but insist and then you just click on this do add to chrome press add extension and then you're pretty much good to go. You'll see that this new icon appears right here. Just click on that right there and then it's gonna say let's go. So you just have to connect into Instagram. So what I'm gonna do right here is just enter in my demo account. So I'm gonna do creativesclub.store and I'm then gonna enter my password. So it's then gonna ask you if you wanna save your information. You can say yes or you can say no. But you can now see that we have an Instagram profile right here. If we click on here, we can go onto my bio. We can even click on my personal page right here and you can see that you can view all of my content. So all you have to do from here is click on the plus icon as if you're posting a video, then click on reels. You can see that you can also upload photo videos, IGTV and carousels and even schedule your posts for later. So that's really cool. So if we click on reels, I'll then open up a file menu and you'll just have to click on your video. So this is the video that I'm gonna be uploading and then press open. And then you can also play back your video if you want, but let's just press next. You can then enter in your description. You can enter in your hashtags and you can also choose Choose your own thumbnail or upload your own thumbnail which is absolutely amazing that you can do this so let's just choose the basic thumbnail it also has a hashtag assistant but to be honest it's not that good i use a hashtag software called flick and it's absolutely amazing so because this video is about videography and my camera straps and t-shirts i'm just going to click on my videography collection go and randomize and copy 30 hashtags then i'm just going to post them into my description right here and you can see i've now got 30 hashtags now all you have to do is press share and you can see it's now uploading my video to instagram it's not a video is uploaded let's click on our profile and now you can see that we now have an Instagram reel posted to our account so that's absolutely awesome and if we pull up my phone we can see right off the bat that we have the creatives club Instagram reel posted on the account so it's on my feed already so as you saw it's super easy to upload Instagram reels from your computer however there is one slight disadvantage to this is that you're using a third-party app and unfortunately, they only allow you to have one Instagram Reel upload and then you have to upgrade to the Pro version. But you can work around this by uninstalling the app, reinstalling it whenever you want to upload a new Reel and it'll allow you to do that. But eventually, Instagram will introduce this to the Creator Studio so you'll be able to upload your Reels from the Creator Studio. So I'll update this video once that's available. But I hope you did learn something new and if you did, smash the like button. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video.